Hey everybody, it's Jenny, just saying hey. I'm gonna start a new series called uh, Stream of Consciousness, and I name it after one of my heroines, who is Virginia Woolf, a writer, a, a British writer who lived in the early 1900s, and she was famous for a type of writing known as Stream of Consciousness. She was really good at um, describing the inner landscape, like our train of thoughts. And she built stories and novels around people's train of thoughts. So if you ever feel like checking out some really interesting literature, old yet fresh Virginia Woolf's books like Mrs. Dalloway and Orlando, that's one that got made into a film actually, just brilliant. Her, her work is, is amazing. So anyway, this new podcast thingy is going to be called Stream of Consciousness. And I was just reflecting on life, like today was the MLK Day, MLK Parade, lots, just hundreds of people turned out and so much brightness and yeah, it was just such a full, rich day. There was the breakfast, which, which I missed. I was working and honestly, it was cold, so I didn't quite get over there until later. But at 10 o'clock was the actual march. And then at 10.30, um, and it was really beautiful marching around the neighborhoods and waving at everybody and people chanting, that was, that was cool. And then there was an incredible worship service at the AME, the African Methodist Episcopal Chapel over there on George W. Angram. And speaking of stream of consciousness, George W. Angram is one name for one long street that has four names. So I live over here on the beach side. I live um, one block south of Main Street. My street's Harvey Avenue. And so Main Street starts at the Atlantic Ocean and then it goes over a bridge, a beautiful drawbridge, the only drawbridge left in Daytona Beach, I believe. And I just cherish, I actually like it when I get stuck behind the drawbridge because it, it's an excuse to look at the river and the clouds and just stop and breathe, stop and breathe. Even when I'm trying to get my steps in, sometimes it's best to stop and breathe. So you walk over the bridge, Main Street Bridge, and then you're on Fairview. It's still the same street, but it's suddenly called Fairview. Then you walk, I think it starts on the other side of Ridgewood. It becomes George W. Engram. And it's like that for a while. It's George W. Engram, I believe, all the way to Nova Road, or maybe even beyond Nova. But then after that, it turns into Dunn Avenue, and yet it is one street. So that's interesting. That's that's a flow, that, that and it's all historic. And it's all, I would say, I would say pretty much up and down the whole street, almost. It's kind of un, un, uh, under-occupied and underutilized. So I always have visions of infill development filling up and down the street, 24-7, 365 businesses, homes, just lining the street. And some of them, there's already a lot of buildings along the street that are just not occupied or utilized so it's just oh and another thing I'm into I'm into sewing and all kinds of needlework like that embroidery so I think of a lot of um, stitch metaphors so that street of four names it's like stitching the different um, sections of our town together from east to west it's, uh, Main Street Fairview George W Ingram Dunn Avenue and we have other streets like that too that stitch the town together. That's about all I can think of right now. Um, check out all the posts about the Martin Luther King Day events. It's really been a phenomenal day and weekend. And there's a lot more than I can, I can express in one little stream of consciousness podcast. I will say that the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is one of my all-time top heroes of peace. The other ones are Peace Pilgrim and uh, Mohandas Gandhi and then also Harry Palmer. Harry Palmer you may not have heard of. He's, he may not be as famous as the other guys but he is the author of a course on how to organize your mind called the Avatar course. I took this course 15 years ago and my mind, I've had so much more control over my mind and therefore my life ever since that time. I cannot recommend it highly enough. 
So anyway, peace heroes. I will say that all of these peace heroes have in common, they are radically, radically activating for peace. They were, were all about peace, were, are, all about peace and doing, doing real peace, really committed to it. And peace, really being committed to peace is not fluffy. It takes guts. It can be dangerous, obviously, it, it, you know, obviously you can get assassinated. So it, it ain't fluffy and it's not wussy to be into peace. Some people think I'm sort of like too little, little too fluffy because I'm into peace. No, being into peace is not fluffy at all. <laughs> all right, I've probably talked enough. If you've listened this far, um, I, I appreciate your attention. Go out into your day. Have, have a wonderful one. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Later. To be continued, conversation ongoing. Peace, everybody.